Imagine it's a nice afternoon in 2011, you're done with soccer practice and you're hungry so your parents take you to McDonald's and oh my gosh, you see a Pokemon black and white McDonald's collaboration. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the best McDonald's Happy Meal toys in America, specifically the North American versions, because I know some other countries got different Happy Meals and everything like that, but we're just talking about the American stuff here. So the first one, in my opinion, is probably the most nostalgic one, is the McDonald's 2011 Pokemon Black and White Happy Meal toy. Also, I'm doing a giveaway at 12,000 subscribers for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card, so all I have to do to enter that giveaway is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below, and then stay tuned for future videos, and when I hit 12k, I'll announce the winner. I actually did black and white for 2011 and 2012, so with a 2011 set, looks like we had Pikachu, Reshiram, Oshawott, Zoroark, Tepig, Zekrom, Snivy, and Zorua. This is a, a, a pretty heavy hitter select group of Pokemon here. And it also, of course, came with Pokemon cards, but the figures themselves were super cool. These ones, to me, are the most nostalgic, I would say, just because this is like some of the first Happy Meal toys that we got in America. For Pokemon specifically, Generation 5 is a really nostalgic era of Pokemon, I think. You know, black and white are kind of some of the last Pokemon games pre, you know, 3D technology, I guess, for the 3DS and everything like that. So these are just like little plastic figures, and then you have a select group of Pokemon cards, which are super cool to collect. Luckily, you can buy most of these for, you know, a pretty cheap, low price from secondhand markets, such as like eBay or Mercari and stuff like that. Like these really don't cost that much, which is great because if you want some of that nostalgia to come back, you could really not spend too much money and buy all these complete on eBay or something. I think my favorite out of this set is probably Zekrom or Reshiram. Snivy looks really good too though. And then in 2012, it looks like we got the second evolutions of Snivy, Tepig, and Oshawott. We got Axew, Pikachu, and also Woobat. So this is pretty cool. It's basically the same thing. I think this might be for Black and White 2. I'm not 100% sure on that one though. And then two years later in 2014, we got the Pokemon X and Y stuff. So which in my opinion, these ones are kind of a little bit lame, but they're kind of cool. So it's like these little Pokeball discs. Also comes with a select group of Pokemon cards, which is really cool. I personally really liked X and Y. So even though I don't really like this Happy Meal per se, I really think that the branding is cool, and I think that the side of the, the Happy Meal box is also really cool. Believe it or not, people love to collect Happy Meal boxes, and you, people kind of will pay up for them too. Flatten the box out and have just the Pokemon artwork on it. I think that would be really cool. I feel like it would have been better for you if they went with the same figures or just maybe a different type of Pokemon Happy Meal toy. I know that they can't do the same thing every single year, but I feel like X and Y was a pretty good generation for Pokemon design-wise. And at the same time, I know it's a Happy Meal toy, so they're gonna be a cheap toy. Like, they're not gonna be some nice figurine. And then the next year later, 2015, we got the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire stuff. These ones, in my opinion, are really cool. I think these are some excellent looking figures. We got several different legendary Pokemon. Of course, we had to get a Pikachu. That's a cool looking mean Pikachu right there. Got a, another group of Pokemon cards themselves, which the Pokemon cards themselves, like on their own, are really like all I would want, really. That's all you would need. But they also gave us the figures, which are really cool. I actually never had any of these. I actually, well, I might have had the Rayquaza, but I'm not sure on that. These are super cool though. I think that these are awesome. These will look great on the shelf. Groudon in specific looks the best. That looks like a really detailed Happy Meal toy. And then skipping another two years. So we didn't get one in 2016 as far as I know. So in 2017, two years later, we got the Pokemon Sun and Moon figures, which I honestly like the Sun and Moon figures. I think they're pretty cool. I actually find these a lot at thrift stores. For whatever reason, the Sun and Moon figures are all over the place specifically the Lunala figure and Litten. But I think these overall look really good. Once again, we also got Pokemon cards. I don't know. I feel like the McDonald's Pokemon collabs are perfect. Like, it's a fun way to get a little Pokemon figure. As you know, a lot of Pokemon stuff is pretty expensive. So getting one for kind of free in a Happy Meal, that's a pretty good deal, especially having some Pokemon cards. There's just something so nostalgic and so cool about seeing a Pokemon or just a McDonald's Happy Meal toy in general, like in the wrapping, in the plastic wrap. Anytime I see it, it, it brings me back, you know what I'm saying? McDonald's actually has a history of some pretty good Happy Meal toys. I know a lot of them over the past, you know, eight years probably haven't been the coolest, but I think 
some of them are really cool, and I feel like for Pokemon specifically, the last couple of years have kind of been a little bit lackluster. I feel like since 2018-ish, they have kind of gone downhill. So I'm not really going to talk too much about like the 2024, 2023 ones, because they're kind of the same thing. They've been kind of the same thing for the last couple of years, just different Pokemon cards, I guess. Which the cards are really cool, don't get me wrong. I think the cards are awesome. But I feel like the creativity has gone down because we're not getting these figures anymore. So in 2018, we got more figures and cards, which the 2018 one actually really surprised me because it's different legendary Pokemon throughout different generations. Like it's not specific to one generation. Like it's not Sun and Moon, it's not Sword and Shield, which I'm surprised it wasn't like Sword and Shield or like Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu or something like that. But this looks really cool. I don't think I've ever actually seen any of these figures. I don't, around this time, I didn't really care about Pokemon at all. But around 2018, I just didn't care about Pokemon. I didn't care about Pokemon for several years. Like, you know, I was I was really into it as a kid. And then as I got older, as teenage years, whatever, I just didn't really care about it. But these figures are sick. I specifically think Dialga looks really good. I feel like the legendary Pokemon for the Happy Meals are super cool and definitely display worthy. I think they're all pretty much display worthy, but these specifically look really good. And then skipping actually a couple of years, 2021, we got the 25th anniversary trading cards. Now these were huge when they first came out. I remember I actually woke up and went to McDonald's early, like right when they opened because I was trying to get some of these cards, but they kept selling out. So I woke up early and I just ordered the Pokemon cards because you were actually able to literally just order the cards. So I think I got, I think the max I could buy was 10 or yeah, I think it was 10. So I bought 10 packs at $2 a piece. So I spent 20 bucks but I actually have some of them sealed. I don't really think they're worth a whole lot, but it's just kind of a cool little thing to have. I opened a couple of them up and I never got like the coolest or the rarest card, I think. If I remember correctly, I think the rarest card out of this was like the holographic Pikachu. I, I think, I might be wrong on that, but I think these are pretty cool. They, they kind of do hold a little bit of nostalgia for me, to be honest, just because I woke up early, you know, I went out to McDonald's and literally got like a sack, like, you know, the Happy Meal sack full of these cards, just the cards, no food. And I don't even know if you could do that anymore because I remember hearing stuff online that like McDonald's stopped letting you just order the cards or just order the Happy Meal toys because of this, like they were just selling out too quickly. But you know, boy am I glad that I actually went through with it and, and just asked for the cards because I think that's pretty cool. But unfortunately no figures. And then in 2022 we got the Pokemon Match Battle, which you know, that's kind of cool, but it's, it's kind of lame. It's like a little cardboard box with a little pack of I think four Pokemon cards and then you get these little sp like a spinner thing and a coin. It definitely seems more low budget. It doesn't it's not as fun. Yeah, you're getting more Pokemon cards, but I think I'd rather get a figure and one Pokemon card rather than four Pokemon cards and like a stupid little random coin. But I know there are people out there that probably prefer the coins. So, you know. 2023, same thing. We got the same exact thing. Pokemon match battle. And in 2024, I don't think that they have announced what's gonna happen. According to this list, we're getting the Pokemon collab with McDonald's from September 19th through October 9th. So it's a couple months away. So I actually don't know what they're gonna release. Hopefully it's like a cool figure set. I think that would be pretty sick. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I wanna make a video about like the Japanese McDonald's toys for Pokemon because those are actually so sick. And I just felt like it wouldn't, it would be too much for this video, you know what I'm saying, talking about different countries. I feel like I'll save that for a future video. Let me know what your favorite Pokemon McDonald's toy is though, and I'll see you guys in the next video.